former champions Norway faced another setback in the FIFA Women's World Cup 2023 after being held to a draw by Switzerland, leaving them at the bottom of Group A, Norway, on the receiving end of a shock defeat to co-hosts New Zealand in the opening match, desperately needed a win but failed to score for the second consecutive game. Norway's woes were further compounded when star player Ada Hagerberg was forced to withdraw from the match moments before kickoff due to a reported groin injury suffered during the warm-up in Hamilton. This came after Caroline Graham Hansen, another key talent, did not make the starting lineup. The absence of these influential players affected Norway's attacking prowess and they struggled to find the breakthrough. Both teams had their chances in a competitive encounter on a wet surface. Norway's captain Marin Gelda missed an opportunity from close range, and a header from Sophie Haug, Hagerberg's replacement, was brilliantly saved by Switzerland's goalkeeper Gael Thalmann. Switzerland, who registered a 2-0 victory against the Philippines in their first match, displayed resilience and created chances of their own. Anna Maria Krnogorsivic fired narrowly over the bar after creating space, and Nadine Riesen's cross was just about kept out by Norway's keeper Aurora Mikkelsen. In the second half, Haug forced another fine save from Thalman, and substitute Caroline Graham Hansen's attempt was turned behind. However, both teams failed to find the back of the net, resulting in a frustrating goalless draw for Norway. With just one game remaining in the group stage, Norway must defeat the Philippines to have any chance of progressing to the knockout stages. Switzerland, on the other hand, is well positioned to advance, leading Group A with four points. They face co-hosts New Zealand in their final group match in Dunedin. Norway, once considered dark horses to go deep in the tournament, now faces the prospect of an early exit. Their struggles at Euro 2022 have continued, and they need to find their attacking spark in the crucial match against the Philippines. Meanwhile, Switzerland has shown determination and resilience, making a solid start in New Zealand. Despite their qualification through a playoff win over Wales, they look confident in their ability to reach the knockout stages for the second time. As the FIFA Women's World Cup 2023 progresses, the competition remains fierce and unpredictable. The final matches in Group A will be decisive in determining which teams advance to the next stage and which face an early departure from the tournament. Don't miss the thrilling highlights from this action-packed encounter. Subscribe and stay tuned for more thrilling matches and surprises.